Northwest Arkansas has the second highest population of those living with HIV or AIDS in the state. That's according to the CDC. In a special report, Haley Huey sits down with a Fayetteville woman who's over 50 and was shocked to find out she tested positive at the age of 49. She was married at the time of her diagnosis. And just to let you know, we have altered her voice to protect her identity. I was almost suicidal. When I found out. Marriage vows didn't keep this fateful woman protected. It crushed me. She says she found out she was HIV positive 11 years ago while donating blood. <laughs> you're married and you're not safe. The thought of having the disease never seemed like a possibility, especially at her age. Well, I just felt like I didn't know how to take it. Once she got the diagnosis, she says she discovered her husband had been cheating on her. I think everybody needs to be checked, and I think they also need to be. Use protection even if you're married. What happened to this woman isn't uncommon, according to infectious disease specialist Dr. Stephen Hennigan. There's a whole group of people who are undiagnosed, and a good many of those folks are people who are older. Hennigan says in the last few months at his Fayetteville clinic, six women over 50 have been diagnosed with HIV AIDS. Some are married, and some are recently divorced or widowed. They were quite surprised. And that isn't a fluke. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, people over 50 account for almost as many diagnoses as those in the 29-year-old age range. The CDC says people over 50 have the same risk as other age groups, but aren't as educated, which could cost them their life. You're never too old to get it. This woman says she wouldn't have thought to get tested, so she credits getting her blood drawn for keeping her alive. I might have died with full blown. HIV is no longer considered a death sentence if treated in time, but Hennigan says it's a different story if you're diagnosed late in the disease. It's much harder to bring their immune system back with medicines. Hennigan says typically when you contract HIV, you see flu-like symptoms within a month. People sometimes will tell you, yeah, I, I had what I thought was the flu, and you know, and then it turns out to have been HIV. But if you don't seek medical attention, Hennigan says the disease goes dormant for about eight to ten years until you become extremely sick again, and that's when it becomes hard to treat. Those who are afraid, who are unwilling to get tested, often pay such a such an awful price. I just want people to be checked. I don't want anybody to live a life like this. And that's why this woman is hoping her pain will save lives. Educate yourself. Protection. Think of your future. There's all, you've got a whole life ahead of you. That was Haley Huey reporting. Well, according to the CDC, in 2015, an estimated 258 adults and adolescents were diagnosed with HIV in Arkansas. Arkansas ranked 30th among the 50 states in the number of HIV diagnoses that same year. About one in seven people with the disease in the United States do not know they're affected.